Hey Han, I'm Chloe and this is the Superman tutorial. My mission is to share my passion for pole dancing and make pole dancing easy to learn and accessible. This is the 30th video of the beginner pole trick tutorial series. In order to maximize your training out of all the videos, I highly recommend you to start from the very first video of this playlist as the tricks will be a progression of the video before. The Superman is definitely a party pleaser sort of trick. If you haven't done this one before, you'll definitely leave this trick tutorial feeling very accomplished. This trick tutorial is a mirror for your ease of learning. I'll also have a red wristband on my right wrist and my right ankle to indicate the right side of my body if you do get confused of the directions. This trick tutorial is created for you for informational and educational purposes only and for you to enjoy learning pole dancing from the comfort of your own home. Please participate at your own risk and don't work beyond your capability and seek help or spotting when necessary. For any medical concerns, please make sure to seek professional medical advice. Please also you make sure you warm up your body before you start this trick tutorial. I have a warm up playlist depending on your level under the playlist warm up so you can try that before you do the trick. If you enjoy this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up so that I know to create more of these kinds of videos and consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't yet so that you are notified every single time I upload a video. If you're looking to further your pole journey and learning tricks and dance together, then consider learning on my online learning platform, Pole Art Vault, where we put tricks and dance together into a combo and learning an entire routine with combos and dance together. You can find the link in the description below for further information. Alrighty, without further ado, let's get into the Superman tutorial. Alrighty, let's get into our conditioning. For our conditioning today, we are going to do our scissor leg plank hold. So, we are going to come onto the floor. Now once you come onto your floors, we're going to start on our knees and then you are going to come onto your fours. Now once you come onto your fours, you're going to extend your legs backwards and then pushing into the ball of your foot into your plank. Now when you're in your plank position, making sure that your bum's not sticking out all the way. So all the way from your shoulder to your toe should be in one line. Now, if you have a tendency to arch your back, if you're standing up, say for example, for me, when I stand up, I have a naturally sort of like natural back arch. So make sure you tuck your pelvis all the way in as well. And then making sure that you feel that in your core. Alrighty, so again, you're gonna come into your plank, tucking your pelvis in, and then making sure that all the way from your shoulder to your hand is one vertical line as well. Now, from here, you're gonna lift one leg up and then you're gonna scissor it over your toe that's on the floor, coming back down. You're gonna scissor and then down. Scissor, down. Scissor and down. Beautiful. Now, when you're doing these ones, again, make sure that when you're swapping your leg that you keep your pelvis tucked in and try not to move your body as much as possible. So you don't want to go from here and then like twist, twist your body. Keep your body nice and tight and then swap and swap. Beautiful. Now, let's do, uh, let's do eight of these. All right, coming back in position on your fours, toes on the floor, tucking your pelvis in. And eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one. Beautiful. Well done. Now there is your conditioning done for today. Alrighty. Now let's get into our Superman from a plank. Now with your Superman from a plank entry, you can try this on a spin or static. They're both just around the same. Doesn't really matter if you do either or. I'm just gonna do this on spin so that you can see. I just prefer spin because I think it kind of looks cool. So this is what a Superman from a plank looks like. Okay. 
Alrighty, now let's break down our Superman from a plank down. So, again, you can put this on spin or static, either or. I'm gonna keep this on spin so that you can have a look. Now, we are going to face our back against the pole. Now from here, you're gonna come and place your hand in front of your knees. Now from here, you're gonna lift your bum up and then bring your legs back so that you're straddling the pole. Now when you're straddling the pole with your legs, making sure that the pole hits right on this thickest part of your thigh. So make sure that you're not sitting all the way up your cookie. That will, that will hurt. We don't want that. Now, from there, you're going to place your inside ankle over. So we're gonna start off with our right hand on the pole. So that means right leg goes over your left. And then you're gonna tilt your hip over so that you're opening your chest up. So you're gonna grab the pole, um, make sure it's a little high, so you don't wanna go too high, but just at a comfortable height. Again, right ankle on top, right hand on the pole. From there, make sure you keep that hip tilted, and then you're gonna lift your leg off the floor, make sure you're pointing your toes. And then if you can, you can push yourself a little if you're on a spinning pole, and then hands come out. Squeeze the pole nice and firm. From there, you're gonna bring your hands down, outside hand down, inside hand down, toes come down, and then you can tuck your knee in, and there you have it. There is your Superman from a plank. Well done. Alrighty, let's try this on the other side as well. I'm just gonna come onto the other side so that you, you don't get confused. So we're gonna start again back against the pole. Hands in front of your knees, bringing your legs back squishiest part of your thighs. And then this time around, left ankle goes over your right knee. And then you're gonna hip tilt so that you get all that grip in your thighs. Left hand comes up. Grabbing the pole at a comfortable height. And then from there, lifting your toes off. And then pushing yourself with that outside hand. Hands come off. Make sure you're arching your back as well for the extra effect to come down. Outside hand comes off down to the floor, keep squeezing with your thighs, inside hand comes down, toes come down, and then tucking your knee in to come out. Well done. So there is your Superman on both sides. Let's go through some tips and common mistakes. Common mistake number one, opposite hand and legs. Now, what I mean by that is, when you're coming into your plank, you always want to make sure that whichever leg that is on top, same hand comes on top. So if you try to get your other ankle on top, it's gonna to be really hard for you to twist your hip. So making sure that always, if, if your right hand is on top, right ankle comes on top, left hand on top, left ankle goes on top. And that way it'll be much easier for you to tilt your hip um, in your Superman. Which brings me to my second tip, making sure that you hip tilt. Now, commonly, if you feel like you're sliding in your Superman, most likely because you're not hip tilting. So very similar to our sit, so when we do a pole sit, you always wanna make sure that you're tilting your hip so that you come into your sit and you get all the grip that you need. So same exact thing for that one, you always wanna keep your hip tilted. So once you bring your ankle on top, whichever leg that is on top, you tilt your hip over to that same side. And then as soon as you tilt your hip, or when you bring your right hip up into the ceiling, then you should start to feel that extra grip in your legs. You're doing it right. So if it hurts, you're doing it right, usually in pole, because that means that you get all that grip. So remember to tilt your hip and then keep your hip tilted the whole entire time when you're coming into your Superman. 
Now, in terms of your leg position, you can keep your ankles on top of each other, or if you're feeling confident, then you can obviously have your um, ankles next to each other as well. Th those are both totally fine. There's no right or wrong for it. So you can either cross your ankles together or legs apart. They're both uh, valid supermans. Um, the more secure one obviously would be the one where you're keeping your ankles together so think about uh, squeezing your ankles together if you feel like you need that extra grip now third tip is making sure that you not only squeeze from your ankle but you also squeeze from your knees now this is a really common one um, especially for those that feel like they're still slipping down even after the hip tilt and also uh, keeping your ankles together it's usually because you're not squeezing from your knee so what I mean by that is that once you come into your superman you could squeeze from your ankle but not from your knee if that makes sense so if you're just squeezing from your ankle then you see how like i get more of that thigh gap and then you'll end up slipping down so make sure that you don't you not only squeeze from your ankle but you squeeze from your knees together so think about squeezing your knee together and not only would that help you with your lines but it'll also help you with your grip as well in your inner thighs now Speaking of grip, same as always, if you've been watching the beginner portrait tutorial series, you always want to make sure that you have uh, either shaving foam if you have dry skin or if you have uh, sweaty skin or like sweaty hands or whatever it is, you, you need something that's more of a drying agent. So making sure that you invest into the right grip. So I use grip tonight for my hands because I get really sweaty hands. Um, that might work for you in your inner thighs, especially if you have really sweaty uh, skin. Otherwise, if you have dry skin, I usually just use shaving foam or the link will be in the description below. I'm not sponsored for any of the products, but this is just for your own benefit so that you can grip onto the pole. Next tip I have for you is making sure that you don't grab the pole way too high or way too low. This is going to be a fine balance. Now, in terms of your hand positioning, this is going to be really anatomy, so it's hard to say where exactly you should be placing your hand. But a good indication is to make, make sure that your body is uh, horizontal to the floor. So if you grab the pole way too high, you're going to end up in this like sort of like half uh, Superman position. So make sure uh, that you grab the pole at a sort of convenient position. So your arm should be all the way extended um, and then uh, reaching out into your Superman. So if your hand's too low, you're going to end up like too low. So you end up in this like sort of like boat position and you don't want to end up in a boat position or else you won't have optimal grip for your hands and your legs. And then you, you might end up sliding down or falling down to the floor. You don't want that. So again, making sure that you grab nice and firm, thumb facing up, and then you're in a very horizontal sort of position with your Superman. Now, other thing is making sure that you lift your chest up in your Superman. So when you're in your position, you don't want to be like hunching. <laughs> so make sure that you think about kicking your leg out, push from your chest, reach out, and then that way your Superman will look much nicer as well. So lifting your head up, chin up, pushing your chest up as well, and it'll look much prettier in your Superman. All right, now next tip I wanted to go through is to make sure that you are in a good or perfect plank position. Now, what I mean by perfect plank position is, again, it's how we did it in our conditioning, all the way from a shoulder to a toe is in one line. So, if you feel like you're not getting the right grip or if you feel like your Superman is looking a bit strange, most likely because you're not starting in a plank position properly. So, if you start in this sort of like mountain plank position, like this, you're going to end up either like in this sort of like weird like mountain or you might end up like in this like 
ah, geez, <laughs> in this um, sort of strange shape where your body is in horizontal. So just make sure that you start in a plank position. So look at yourself in the mirror or maybe video yourself doing it so that you know if you're in a proper plank position first and then try lifting your toe off. And that's gonna help you come into the right position for you, Superman. Now, last thing I wanna talk about is hand movement. So when you're in your Superman, make sure that you're not rigid with your fingers. Right, you don't want to look like a traffic controller when you're doing Superman's. So, if you want to, I mean, if you if you want to look like a, a traffic controller, then I guess like that's your vibe. Um, but if not, then make sure that you're gentle with your wrists. If you want to keep moving your hands so that it's not awkward, you can do so as well. So rather than um, your hand like this, uh, make sure you're gentle with your wrists. And if you want to keep moving your hand, you can keep moving your hand as well. And I think it's pretty as well. And that way you can really elevate your Superman shape. And that is all the tips and common mistakes I wanted to go through. So a little mindset tip for you today before I let you go. Sometimes we feel like we are failing at something if we just do one thing wrong or we might feel like we're stuck in a journey because we're not progressing as much as we want to. Now, sometimes when I come across thoughts like this, I always remind myself that there's no such thing as failure, there's only progress. Now, if you're finding yourself stuck in a rut, then in the grand scheme of things, I'm sure that you are progressing, but we are not seeing things in the grand scheme of things. And we are only looking at ourselves in that one moment. So sometimes what I like to do is if I feel like I'm feeling stuck, then I look back on my older videos and I remind myself, actually, I have progressed a fair bit. But in this moment, I might feel like I'm stuck, but look at how much I've done. You should be proud of how much you have progressed and appreciate the progress you have made. So make sure you keep reminding yourself and enjoy your pole journey as well. Thank you so much for joining me in this Superman tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and I shall see you in the very next tutorial. Bye! Alrighty, without further ado...